Before this video starts, if this guide helps you out in any way, shape, or form, like and subscribe. Also, comment down below if you have any questions. Let's begin. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to go over exactly how you could go ahead and essentially create Roblox thumbnails on mobile. Let's go ahead and begin right now. You could also follow this on iPad. Let's go ahead and begin right now. It's, com it's going to be completely free, guys. First, you guys want to go ahead over to search. Now, you're going to go ahead and type up PixArt. Type up PixArt. Then, guys, download PixArt. And here, guys, I'm going to show you guys two things. Firstly, how you could go ahead and make clickable thumbnails. Second thing I'm going to show you guys is how to make convincing and creative thumbnails because youtube is all about creativity so first click on stickers obviously being yourself as well but first we want to go ahead and find a background so click on stickers and now pick your theme i want to do this a pink thumbnail today so i'm going to type up pink and we're going to do pink background so pink background okay now the one I want to go for is this because it looks very good. So you get the background that you want or desire. And you want to place it right in your background. Once you guys go ahead and place the background you want, click on stickers again. And now we're going to go ahead and make it creative. And the point of this process is very simple to break it down into words. Is to show the viewer that you have what they want. So I'm going to type up Roblox because the video I'm making today is about Roblox, how to make thumbnails of Roblox. So I'm going to do this about my, this thumbnail right here for the video you're watching. So let's go ahead and get a character. I like this character a lot. And once you guys go ahead and get a 3G effects from this, right? Obviously, if your thumbnail's about whatever, then you do it about whatever, right? I'm not saying you have to do it like mine. But we want to put the character not in the middle, okay? A lot of you guys make this mistake. You don't want this in the middle. You don't want this here. This is the main attraction, okay? This right here is the main attraction, okay? And this is the part pointing to the main attraction. This part is just to show them the theme and show them this is what they want. But this part is supposed to be the main attraction, and this part is supposed to convince this part. You guys get the point. But you want to go ahead and put this on the side here. Okay, this is not supposed to be the main attraction. Do not put border or shadow on it. Now go back to stickers. And we want to go ahead and make a phone. Because this is going to be about phones. About how to make Roblox thumbnails on phone. So we're going to want to go ahead and get a phone image. Image of a phone. Okay. I want to go ahead and place the phone image or the image of the phone right on the center right here. And we kind of make it look like she's holding the phone. And you're probably like, why? Why do you want to make it so big? It's because, guys, it's supposed to be big and simple, okay? A lot of people, their eye, it's not going to catch it if it's, you know, tiny. You have to make it big bold so everyone knows what they're doing once you guys put this you carry on and go to the stickers and since the thumbnail is about roblox we could go ahead and add a roblox image right here since the video is about roblox this video right here so we could go ahead and add an image of roblox okay and then we want to add an image of YouTube since it's also about YouTube since it's thumbnails. Right here. So add assets that are related to the video so they know your, you know, to show them that you, you have what they want. And once you guys go ahead and add this, and you want to then get text and make it simple in one word, describe your entire video. And we're going to do thumbnail right here i don't need to write a whole paragraph on how it's thumbnails on mobile because the images the symbols show that the goal is to use symbols to show it but the word to kind of sum it sum it all up 
okay kind of a little summary so you want to go ahead and place this one right here there we go there we go thumbnail now we'll go back to sticker and actually we want to go ahead and put a label again here saying easy or something else just to convince them i'm gonna actually write free because free free is better because this tutorial is technically showing you guys a free way on how to do this so i'm gonna write free we're gonna go ahead and put this right here so they could read it know that it's a free tutorial there we go there we go now that we've done all of this right here, as you can see, it looks great. Now go back to stickers. And now we want to type up red arrow right here. And now let's put the arrow going down here, just to kind of tell them where the main attraction is going to be. So once you get the arrow, put a shadow around it. Just like this and put a border pointing towards this. And we could also put some shadow on borders on these as well. So go ahead and add the shadow, add the border going down this image right here. So once you guys have got, went ahead and basically added all of this, you could click apply. Then you want to go ahead and add brushes. And now you could go ahead and essentially add some like flowers and some hearts around the image. My image, I'm showing you guys a bit more of a pinky style thumbnail. It's probably going to attract a bit of a like people making thumbnails for girls, I guess. Type audience because my last one was for boys. My last one was blue. So I was like, why not make this one uh, so I could hit both markets i'm like okay i'll make this one for girls that one for boys and girls usually make this style of pink thumbnail you know if you're not a girl watching this video then yeah that's why that's why i made it pink so yeah, not that pink is my favorite color obviously it's not but you know not that there's anything wrong with that if that is your favorite color it's just not my personal favorite color anyways um so let's click apply now let's click effects and now guys we could go ahead and add an effect to the thumbnail if we want you don't have to do this part but i'm gonna do it because why not and it looks great so it looks great so we click apply here on all of these new changes and now we could go ahead and add the text back so let's go ahead and do that right here there we go. There we go. There we go. Looks perfect. Right here. And once we've done this, there we go. And now, now that you've went ahead and done all of this it's done so i hope you guys have enjoyed <laughs> oh my goodness this thumbnail's a bit of a mess um actually i want to add something else i want to add let's see well oh, thumbnail let's add an emoji a shocked emoji so these guys know, because again, they want to know, you know, that, you know, we're good at making thumbnails and every good thumbnail has a shocked emoji and a red arrow, right, guys? <laughs> but yeah, now nah, it looks pretty good. So yeah, it looks pretty good now. So if you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see.